Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a new look that I've been playing with. Um, I actually picked up some new products that I haven't actually uh, been able to sit down and play with, and that's what we're doing today. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get started. I had the Super Goop Glow Oil on. This one has SPF uh, 50 on there. And then one of the new products that I'm playing with today is actually the About Face, and this is their new foundation. Um, I have this one in F2, yeah, F2 Cool. So um, it, uh, they have a whole bunch of different bases. So they have uh, Cool and Warm, which typically are yellow and pink, and then they also have Peach and... Um, olive and I think a couple of other ones as well so it's a fun formula and I'm having a good time playing with it and so far it hasn't done anything too weird uh, today's the first time that I'm pairing it with the Sheeran V Glow Serum Primer by Hard Candy so um, yeah I actually have these two on today and this one gives me a little bit of glow and a little bit of bronze so it's adding a little bit of bronze into this so yeah that's what I have on there I have uh, Give Me S'mores by Colourpop on for my lips today and it tastes like passion fruit and it tastes really good so yeah loving that one and then the Essence uh, Thick and Wow and this one in Caramel Blonde I did go ahead and use the Sky High, uh, both the mascara primer and the mascara, so that's what I have on there. So I have most of the usual suspects on. Um, as far as what I did for cheeks today, I did go ahead and use the MAC. And um, so the MAC and this is the Light Radiant Rosy, as far as what I've I have on for bronzer there and then I did do candlelit by uh, elf and it's the oh there it is okay so I use candlelit um, I think it's supposed to be more of a pink but for me it always goes ahead and pulls more of an orange an orangey pink maybe so that's what I have on there as far as going ahead and doing a swatch of that so this is the way that it turns up on me and so yeah it does go into a, a pinky orange so that's what I have on as far as this goes and then I did go ahead and use the master chrome in the molten peach to go ahead and use as a highlighter and a topper so this is what I have on as far as uh, the highlighter today. Well, I'm using it as a, a blush topper. So that's what I have on there. And then as far as what I did for the eyes today, I just got in some of the, um, yeah, the Luxi L-O-O-X-I. And you can buy their shadows off of their website. They have matte shimmers and their auroras are their multi -crumbs. So I did get a couple of those. And with multi-chromes, I always find that they look a lot better if you put them on a base. And usually a cream eyeshadow base, if you want them to show up and be really punchy, you put them on a black cream eyeshadow base. Um, but I'm actually, since I got a whole bunch of these and they're different colors, I'm going ahead and putting them on different bases right now to kind of see how punchy I can get them and how they work and I'm just having fun with multi chromes I really am um, I forgot to go ahead and I put one other highlighter on here so I got out the Scooby-Doo and they had the holographic packaging and so I used uh, this bottom highlighter it pulls uh, gold and it actually um, <clears throat> It doesn't have any base color, so you can see your blush underneath, and it's actual glitter itself. So um, you can see the glitter particles, and you can see the uh, 
yeah, your blush color underneath. So uh, that's what I have on here. And whenever I want to get really sparkly, I pull this one out. And then as far as what I did on the eyes, going back to the eyes, um, I went ahead and pulled out the color case. This one is by Made by Mitchell. These are all uh, cream eyeshadows. They all dry matte with uh, the color case case and it's by Mama -ma Mitchell. Uh, you can get this on Beauty Bay on the Beauty Bay website and everything comes from the UK so it all ships from the UK over here. What I did was I went ahead and I took uh, this neon green and then this dark green and I went ahead and mixed them and got this color and I used that in the crease and then what else did I do? Oh I took a little bit of the white and a little bit of the yellow and I mixed it together and came out with this one and so I used this on the lid and then I used a little bit of this on the inner corner as well. So I used uh, the yellow by itself and the yellow mixed with white. So um, I did go ahead and mix a few colors and then I did go ahead and put the multi-chromes over the top because again multi-chromes have shimmer and then at least two uh, different colors, usually three or four colors. So a lot of the time the shimmer will go ahead and take over and you won't be able to go ahead and see the actual colors of the micro or of the multi-chrome. So if you put a cream base underneath, you're more likely to see more of the color and a little less of the shimmer. So what I did today was I went ahead and used Mantis, which is this color by Luxie, and I went ahead and put that on the brow bone. On the outer corner, I went ahead and used this amazing shade called Monarch, and so it's really pretty. It's up in this area here, and it's a brown and a red kind of multi-chrome. Um, I did go ahead and use, let's see, some of this one. And this is jaded, and this is actually on the inner corner and the lid itself. And then I did go ahead and use a little bit of, uh, yeah, that's what she said. And so this one is actually from here to about here. And so it's a, another multi-chrome that goes green to gold. And so, um, yeah, these are... These are the two that are really giving it the punch of color. They're going to be those two. Let's see, did I use anything else in here? Um, I think that's all I used as far as eyeshadow. I did use an Emerite Gel Eyeliner around um, as my eyeliner on this look. And I think it came out kind of fun. Um, I added a lot of sparkle on top of it just to make it as glamorous as I could, you know. Well, I think I think glitter and sparkle is glamorous, so I added as much as I could. Here's the way that the look turned out. Yeah, I think it turned out really pretty, and I like the way that the multi-chromes kind of turned out on this. Um, with the Luxy multi-chromes, I'm finding that if I pack them on with a finger, they actually work a lot better than going ahead and spraying a brush with setting um, spray. They don't tend to want to stick when I do that, where if I pack them on, they stick, and then I'll go ahead and use a setting spray after I've packed them on, like the Make It Last by Milani, and um, that way you still, uh, by using the spray over the top, you still get the glitter to start and the shimmer to start, you know, shimmering. But at the same time, um, it, it still sticks to the eyelid, which is a problem that I was having was that it just, it wouldn't stick. So as long as I pack it with a finger and then use uh, the Milani on top of it, that's working a lot better for me. Um, I am really loving these eyeshadows and they are so much fun to play with. And um, 
So again, Luxi, L-O-O-X-I, wonderful website. Definitely would recommend ordering from them. They just had a sale. Their whole website sold out. It was really cool. And um, I think other than that, that uh, that's the whole look. That's everything for today. And um, yeah, these greens that the so far all of the I, I just there's so much fun all the multi crims to play with and to mix and to find out which ones work well with each other. So yeah, um, look, see, you're definitely doing something really right. And so I'll see you later and have a good day. Bye.